Bifocal, Chapter 13, Haroon. I walked Miss Singh to her car after our late reach for the top practice. Less than two weeks before the show, she, she says, Ramadan will be over, and there will be nutrition as well as brilliance flowing through your brains. Does she ever get tired? She bounces with every step, just like she does in the first class of my morning. Even when it isn't Ramadan, I'm often wiped by the end of the day. We leave the nearly empty school together and cross the lawn, heading to the teacher's parking lot. We see a few kids standing on the edge of Brown Town, looking down at something. What's going on? Miss Sins wonders. We walk over there to find out. They wonder how 9-11 could have happened, I hear someone say as we get closer. They wonder why we are angry. And then I see. The lawn and benches of Brown Town, the place where Muslim students gather every day to talk, to pray, to just be with others who have things in common, is now defiled. Racial slurs are painted on the benches. The ground is covered with pieces of something that is sort of light brown and sort of pink. It takes me a moment to identify it. It's ham.